Come on. Give me something. Is there anything? I mean, back in those days with the Stanley Cup, I mean, was there only one back? I mean, they eventually had to get, you know, have two because, you know, there were some wonderful things going on with the Cup. Anything you can share after that Pittsburgh victory? Well, everybody, you know, everybody knows the story about, you know, Mario it being in the bottom of Mario's pool. And, and you know, it's a heavy thing and it gets full of water. You, I mean, that was, a, I mean, it took forever to get it out. Like, and you know, and, you know, you, you know, you hear lots of stories throughout the years, but, you know, that was the one significant one that we had in, in Pittsburgh where, you know, it ended up down the bottom of the pool. And they don't, back then, they didn't have anybody with the cup. It was just us. So, you know, it was, uh, you know, it was pretty, it was pretty crazy. And it was, uh, you know, it was, it was awesome though. But, uh, you know, it's something, you know, we had a blast with it. And, you know, it got passed around. It's so, so different now. I mean, back then it was just like, hey, you want it for – you want it for half a day? We're going to the bar. Yeah, perfect. Plop it down and people, you know, holding it and throwing it up, you know. So it was so different. So, <laughs> you know. I'm just trying to think. If I see at the bottom of the pool, you know, short of calling Popeye, I mean, you need a crank or something, right? And aren't you worrying if it stays yeah. down there too long, it might start to rust? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, it was it was worrisome. I can tell you that. So <laughs> it kind of put a little bit of hold on the party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely might put time out, different time out of the guest stand. Um, uh, empty the pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you have to empty the pool almost like it's Bill Murray and Caddyshack when he found the free room. Exactly. <laughs> 